this video we're going to explain how to get to and what the encode settings mean for your motion recorder. We're going to go to main menu, down to camera. As you can see we're already in the encode settings but this is just the second option down here on the left hand side. Now once you're inside of here you can see two columns, the first being mainstream, the second being substream. So the mainstream is primarily for motion detection recording or alarm based recording and then also if you want to continuously record a one channel or two channels at a high resolution. This means that each channel can be modified to have its own encoding settings for the quality and picture that you want to expect for that particular channel. It is also important to have the continuous resolution and motion detection resolution be the same, that way you do not notice a significant difference between when you have a motion detection event or if you have continuous recording set to a very high resolution. However, that creates a lot of storage need. So oftentimes you can use the substream for the continuous recording. And it's more common to use that in the grid view or remote viewing over the internet as it uses a lot less bandwidth or data. And it is also common to have a high resolution camera record at a low resolution to conserve storage space. The picture will still be clearer than a camera that has a lower maximum resolution. You'll notice for both sides that's, that there is a type for the recording. On mainstream you see general, which is continuous 24-7 recording, MD, which stands for motion detection recording, and alarm, which again is for alarm-based recording. On the right-hand side you see that substream only has one type, and that's just the substream one. You may encounter a camera that also has two substreams. Below the recording type is the compression setting. This is the type of coding the recorder is processing to store the video file in storage. For a BNC coax camera, the type of encoding available is relevant to the specs of its recorder. Here we have an IP camera that has 4 megapixel and then also a resolution that's slightly higher than 4 megapixel. And you can see that it also supports the resolutions below it. That's because this recorder supports both HDCVI and IP cameras up to 4K. This will depend on the type of recorder you have and also the cameras that are connected to it. But if you're connecting an IP camera, you need to realize that the IP camera determines the compression type available because the camera does the processing. You can choose a lower resolution for a given channel to reduce the storage necessary for that channel as we stated earlier. You can also adjust the frames per second here. It's recommended to only use a high frame rate for places with a lot of activity or, or traffic to gather extra detail. Um, say if it's an entrance where you know there are a lot of people coming and going perhaps with merchandise from a store. The frame per second setting will vary depending on what your cameras or recorders support. Down here we can see that this camera is set to a certain bit rate. Bit rate affects both storage and viewing over the internet or in a grid view. You can also adjust the resolution and frame rate to achieve a lower bit rate. And as you can see here we have smart codec that is grayed out for this camera. If we go to channel 2 it is not grayed out. We'll go ahead and enable this here. This makes it easier for people who are not nearly as technical or do not know what the settings mean. And here you can see that you can set the bitrate to something that is CBR or VBR. C stands for constant bitrate, B stands for variable bitrate. These bitrate types refer to how the settings you declare in the bitrate below get taken into account. The last value here is the bitrate, which determines how much data is actually allotted to each camera. You want to set a bitrate value that is just enough to provide a clear picture based on the value for the resolution in frames per second that you have set. You can set a value that is too high, but it will make no difference in picture quality. And if you set a value that is too low, it will make the picture blurry and pixelated. You can find commonly suggested bitrate values in the textual content of our security camera system guide. For example, for 4MP resolution recording, we recommend using H.264, 15fps, and 2048 kilobits per second. When you are done editing the settings, make sure you press apply on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Thank you for watching.